Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dreth with Deaths of Dota, and today we're going to be looking at a level 1 lone druid jungle. Um, now, he's very simple jungle. It's uh, really easy to do. Basically, you're going to get your summon spirit bear first, and then uh, you're going to buy a couple of items. You're going to buy a stout shield for your bear, a quelling blade for you, and tangos for your bear. And then we're going to go ahead and summon our bear right away, and we are going to head out to the jungle after we give our items to our bear. All right, perfect. Let's head out to the jungle. And generally, you would go up and you would check the rune spot, um, which we are not going to do because. I just want to show you that it is possible without getting the room. So we're going to wait for the 30 second mark and we're going to run and kill the easy camp and then we will run and kill them again uh, at the minute mark. So we're just waiting. Ten seconds to go. Alright, here we go. I do not believe we will be able to kill these ones before the minute mark, so we are going to try and stack it right now. Give tangos to your bear as they're needed. Level up your synergy. Go around, check out these camps, see what they are. I think we will wait on the easy camp one more time. So we'll just wait for that to spawn again. D7, D8, D9. Alright. So we cannot summon our bear for another five seconds, so just trying to get as much farming out of him as we can. Alright, now we're going to head up and we're going to resummon our bear and we're going to go on to these centaurs. Alright, so the first things you're going to be leveling up are you're going to be leveling up your Spirit Rare and your Synergy. Uh, spirit Rare will take um, priority, so just whenever you can, you level up your Spirit Rare. Okay, and then the first item I like to make is the Hand of Midas. Yes. So we're just going to make that item. Ooh, and we're just going to get those Gloves of Haste sent over to us as quickly as we can. That'll help us farm.
You just basically keep going. If you find it hard, um, if you find your bear about to die, um, you're gonna want to. You're gonna want to run out, and you're gonna want to send your bear back to the well so he can heal. And you're gonna want to just jump into the lane for a second, you know. Just so you can keep your farm going, get your synergy leveled up. You don't always have to do this, but sometimes you will have to jump back into the lane. jump back in the lane and then you can see your bear's health in the top left and you can see how it's going up and 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 then so now it's almost at the five minute mark so we're going to run back into the jungle we're going to select our bear recall him and just continue to farm And you basically just continue this process for a really long time until you have the items that you need. And uh, once you have the items that you need, then you jump out of the jungle and you help your teammates get ganks. And uh, what I usually like to build is I usually like, you really want to get phase boots on your bear. Um, just because he has a really strong entangle power, which right there, you see it pop. Um, it needs to proc on a lot of their carries to shut them down. And so I really like him with phase boots, so you can activate his phase boots if he ever gets stuck behind creeps or has to catch up to somebody. And then for Lone Druid, I like to get power treads um, just for the extra stat boost during late game. And. Um, I like to build up my lone druid rather than my bear. Other people like to build up their bear. I usually build up my lone druid and give aura items to my bear. That way I don't have to waste slots on aura items like Vladimir's offering, etc. Um, and I mean there's literally tons of ways you can build lone druid, which is which makes him kind of a fun and different hero. Um, he can also be very difficult though because of the micromanagement of the bear. Um, and if you build up Lone Druid, you do not have to deal with micromanaging your bear as much. So it um, makes him a little more enjoyable to play. Yeah, so, But, I mean, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys have ever played Lone Druid, like what was your, what was your best build? Uh, what items had did you go? Um, remember, uh, as due to my uh, attack, base attack time video, uh, Lone Druid does have a lower base attack time when he is in his ultimate bear form. So I like to farm while in his ultimate form. I feel like I can get better farming. And if my bear is about to die, I can also uh, pull him back. And you also get this bonus while farming. So there's our um, Hand of Midas. Get that sent to us. So yeah, and uh, I mean, you just continue to do this, get the items that you need, and uh, you can keep recalling your bear back every time he gets low health. Uh, you can also tank the creeps if you are finding that he is getting low health and you do not have the power off cooldown yet. So um, yeah, it's a, a lot of different ways you can build the lone druid. So. And that's our hand of Midas. So then our jungling just increases all the more. All right, guys. So you need to let me know what you think. Let me know if there's anything I missed. Let me know if you guys have any other suggestions. Um, if there's anything else you'd like me to add or talk about. Anyways, this is uh, has been Dreth with Depths of Dota. 
and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys subscribe. I hope you guys like my channel. I hope you guys check out any of the next videos I have. This was uh, an easy jungle hero, but I have put up some crazy jungle techniques. So, uh, so let me know. Anyways, take care, guys.